name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Welcome to my YouTube station, the home of the five minute or less video. Um, I give you these YouTubes, A, so you don't get ripped off and you have informative and educational information to make sure you are, you, you're knowing what you're doing with this business, this industry, or possibly your case. Uh, the only marketing I do is say we are available for representation and consultation. We have a whole team of former IRS agents. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how not to get ripped off by a tax resolution company. Um, I get many cases uh, for people who have been screwed by other companies. I mean screwed badly. They've paid fees, $10,000, $15,000, and up, and they got absolutely nothing. I cannot count the number of calls that I have gotten in my lifetime, let alone just this year. I probably have got 70 calls this year uh, by people who have been ripped off. And if I were to add up those total fees, it'd be over a quarter million dollars. So how do you not get ripped off by a company? First of all, you should know I've worked for IRS for a decade. I've been in private practice for 40 yeah, I've been doing this for 50 years. Don't I look good for that? So anyway, uh, how not to get ripped off. How do you first find a company? Well, you go ahead on Google, many of you, and you search. Let me tell you the first four, um, if you're looking on Google, the first four uh, uh, people you're looking for are ads. It'll put, they'll say AD on the left. That means they're paying to be in, on that spot. Doesn't make any difference how good they are, what kind of service they have. Those ads mean absolutely nothing. They're a way to say, hey, come look at us. Every time you click on that ad, it can cost that company 20 bucks. Whether you use them, call them or not, that ad click is, is 20 bucks. Generally, it ranges, it goes up and down during the day. So whoever you pick, First of all, it's much better, better to pick organically, which means under the ads, because those are the people that have web pages up and been doing this on a while, a while, and Google goes ahead and ranks those people. And they try to push the better people or the people that have been around longer. But if you are going to click one of those ads and go to these big companies, you have a much better chance of getting ripped off for this reason. The person that you're speaking to first is always the salesperson, sometimes a closer. Their job is to evaluate you, evaluate your money, and make the most of money they can because they're commission-based. They will do the best to sell you, have you make payments over a long term. By the way, they're not going to work your, make your, work your case till you make all your payments. You better know that. So this is how when they start selling you, you want to tell them, you want to talk to the person who may be working your case. And that person is either going to be a tax attorney, a CPA, or enrolled agent. Those are the only three people licensed to talk to IRS. That person you're getting on the phone most of the time is not a tax attorney, a CPA, or an enrolled agent. You are speaking to a salesperson. If you don't want to get ripped off, you need to speak to the person who's going to work your case after hearing the facts, can definitively or reasonably tell you how your case is going to close, except for IRS audits. We don't know how your case would end up because we've never looked at your books and we don't know how to present those books to the IRS. So if you don't want to get ripped off, not only is it best to go ahead and, and talk to the person, I would actually go ahead and ask to Zoom or Skype to the person so you can go ahead and know who the hell you're working with. If you get ripped off, well, I hate to say this, I do lovingly, but it's because of your own ignorance. And there are many ignorant people shopping because they're desperate. Do not get ripped off. Find out people who've been in the business a long time. Stay away from big companies and find out if the people really know what they're doing. How do you know you know what they're doing they have to evaluate the work uh, for me if you owe debt to IRS I'm going to look at your financial statement before I even take the case because I don't know what the result I can be make sure a person can generally tell you the results based on their experience and your type of case and you will succeed and you will not be ripped off if you like this video please give me a subscription uh, YouTube kind of moves us up when you get more subscriptions I would always appreciate I'd love to hear your comments. If you have a suggestion for a YouTube, give it to me. I'd love to go ahead and put those up because I do want to get you the information you need. My description where you can contact us, should you choose to do that, just go ahead. You'll see me in the description section below. Thank you, and I'm under five minutes. Boom!